Hi there, welcome to QA Box Let's Test. If you are a person who is more comfortable working with XPath compared to jQuery selectors, then in this video we are going to enable XPath in Cypress. Cypress has a lot to offer and you can extend its behavior further with the help of the plugins and we are going to install a plugin to enable XPath into Cypress. I have created this web page which we are going to use in this video and this web page is already exported to this project on GitHub and you can find that under help folder with the name cyxpath.html. Now launch cypress.io, click on the docs then click on plugins and search for XPath. So this is the plugin that we have to deploy. Now open that and in here you see this command to install that. Now we can safely ignore this hyphen D because this is for saving this as a dev dependency. And if you are a QA, you have installed Cypress as a regular dependency and not as a dev dependency. Copy this, open the terminal and run this command. Now, once this is done, you will see an entry in the package.json for Cypress XPath. The next thing that you have to do is you have to open index.js file, which is present under support folder, and you have to write this line import Cypress XPath. You can also use require in here because with the help of Webpack, Cypress supports both common JS and ECMAScript module formats. So you can simply here say XPath and you get this option. Just select that so both of these are fine so I'm going to go ahead with this one so let's save that the next thing that we have to understand is the application under test so let us go through that once so in here here are the two field sets and inside these field set we have this one input box which is similar in both of these groups so what I'm saying is if we have to find this we have to say input and this I'm writing the XPath of this and the attribute is name and the value is channel name okay so you see one of two now if I have, I have to enter data into the first one right I have to make use of its parent so I'm going to say field set with ID is equal to group one so I'm going to say field set and the attribute id which carries the value group 1 now you see 1 of 1 and if i change the value to 2 all right it is going to highlight the other one click on this link it will take you to a playlist which i have created on mastering xpath for ui automation all right now let's open the visual studio code and Look at the test cases so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to work with get and within which are the default command available into cypress so if you are pretty good at writing the this this long uh, selectors then you can do it like this so i'm just going to paste that and you could see it is going to find one of one so it is finding the second uh, the, the input box in the second group and if you want to find the first one so you have to just change this either you can do this or what you can do is you can say okay hey find the field set first all right so you're finding this one first and then with the help of within you are finding this right and then typing the data into it right so in the second input box we are going to enter qa box let's test and in the first one we are going to enter learn cypress so let me run this and see what is going to happen all right, so in the second one we have written QA box let's test in the first one we have written learn cypress all right now let's do the same with xpath so this is the xpath that we have used we are entering QA box let's test in the second box let us run this all right so it is working now the thing that we have to understand is if I hover over this cy.xpath, right, it is returning us this cypress.chainable jQuery HTML element, which is pretty much what is being returned by this cy.get. So they work the same way. 
but now let us look at this within thing so what i'm doing in here i'm first finding the group 2 and then using this within command and then i'm providing the x path for the input box and let me just comment this out and let us see what is going to happen all right so it failed and it said that it has found two elements and in here also you could see that and see it is highlighting both but we have used the within command so why this is failing and that's the thing that we have to understand with x part see when you use this all right it is referring to the document context and it is finding this field in the complete document and therefore it is finding two input fields which carry these attributes and values okay so now to solve this problem what do we have to do we have to use a dot the dot or period character in xpath is called the context item expression because it refers to the context item and this could be a node for example it could be element node uh, or attribute node or text node or it could be an atomic value such as a string number or booleans when it is a node it is also called as context node so when you do this dot right and if i run this now let's see what is going to happen so you see it is able to enter data into it that's the difference number one the other thing that we can also do is you can just say cy.xpath you find the parent and then you set that parent as the context so you say dot in here in the second x path and now when you run this let us change this value to something else one two three four five let me save this and if i just run this now so let us see what is going to happen there you go all right so you can work like this as well so i hope you like that thank you so much